guys welcome back to my channel today I am back for another haul video and this haul is going to be from Etude House so Etude House or Etude House had a haul for the past month and it was only now that I was able to do this haul video but they had a sale I think it began at December 26 and I think it's still ongoing up to this moment just because they extended it they had a buy one get one promo on most of their best sellers on BB creams foundation brow products and whatnot so of course as a hoarder I grabbed the chance and got quite a ton of items from Etude House because I wanted to try them out. I've never really tried so much products from them so this is my chance since they're having a good deal and I also collaborated with some of my friends so that we could split the products and pay half off so that's really a great deal. I'll stop the blabbing guys as usual. I talk a lot but let's just go on with this haul video and I am excited. The first thing that I got from Etude House I have been wanting to try out a BB cream from them but I've never had a chance to purchase one just because they sell it for I think 848 pesos and that's a huge amount of money for a BB cream. So I got it while on sale. I got the Precious Mineral BB cream with SPF 30 PA++. This one is in the variant of Perfect Fit. So I was kind of confused on what shade to get but I got it in the shade of W24 Honey Beige which I think is the darkest shade. Because apparently their shades vary with their variants. I mean, if you get the same shade from Cotton Fit, it's going to be a different color. So that's really strange. But this one is a perfect fit variant, which is for combination to oily skin. It has 60 ml or 60 grams of product. When you open it up, it just looks like this. I've been planning to do a first impression and review of this product, so let me know down below if you're interested. I had a great deal with this because I split it up with my friend Mai Ying, so she has the same thing. I initially wanted to try Cotton Fit just because it's a more matte formulation, but it is not really part of the buy one get one, I think, because it's one of the most saleable BB creams that they have, but... Yeah, so I settled with the one for combination to oilies. The next thing that I got is something for the brows and they also had their Color My Brows on sale. This one is in a shade in 04 Natural Brown. This product I also split up with my friend Mai Ying. She also has a YouTube channel so I'm going to link it down below so you should guys check her out and subscribe to her channel. One of their best sellers is their Color My Brows um, eyebrow tint or I don't think, I don't know if it's a gel as well. It's really tiny. It comes with a nicely sized spoolie. So I have never really tried this out yet. I've never tried this product so I'm really excited to try this out. Let me know if you want a review or a video on it whatsoever. Just comment down below. Those were the things I got for my first visit to Etude House. I think I vlogged about it. But on my second visit, I got more items. And the first thing that I got is their Etude House Precious Mineral Any Cushion. It's my first time to buy or try out a cushion foundation. It has SPF 50, PA++++, it has 15 grams of product, and I got it in the shade of Natural Beige, which I don't really think what is the W thing of this is. But let's open this up. And it comes in like a compact foundation packaging. When you open it up, it's so classy because it has a cute sponge and when you open this the product is right there I haven't really opened it just yet so I'm planning to make a first impression review of this product let me know down below if you're interested in seeing that video I'm not really sure if it fits the right shade this is not the darkest shade so I'm actually planning to get the darkest shade in a refill version because I think the refill is 500 plus pesos and it's still buy one get one up to this moment. I'm really thinking if I should get the product but yeah, can't wait to try this one. The next thing that I got is more brow gels because I am that crazy so I got it again in the shade of 04 Natural Brown and I saw that they had it in Blondie Brown, which is 05. And since I have colored hair, I tried it on in the store and it was it suited me fine. I decided to get this one as well. This is just my backup for when I consume the other one since it looks really tiny. But if I don't, I'll probably give it away to someone or maybe sell it to a friend. 
in the 50% off price, so that is really a good deal. So those are the things I got for my second visit. And for Christmas, my brother actually asked me what I wanted to get. And I, I told him that I wanted something from Eaton House because they're having a sale. Since I am a foundation chunky, I actually told him that I wanted the Stay Up Foundation from Eaton House. And true enough, he gave it to me as a Christmas gift, so thank you, pal! And uh, since it's buy one, get one, I get to have two shades. So I got it in the shade of ivory and beige. And this one is the Eaton House Stay Up Foundation. It has SPF 30 PA++. It's smooth and cover anti-wrinkle whitening. It has 25 grams of product. So I'm not really sure. I'm, I think I'm actually in the beige shade because I think ivory is too light. But then again, I'm acidic so I don't really know. But I'm going to use just one of this product. And the other one I'm probably going to give away to someone. Or I don't really know yet. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this one out. Again, comment if you want a first impression review. And of course, with Eaton House, you always get free samples and goodies if you purchase, I think, a certain amount from their shop during December because they had a lot of like freebie promotions. But I got these, all these for freebies. The first one I got is Wonder Pore Freshener. And I tried this out. I've been meaning to try this one out and I actually wanted to get the huge bottle but I tried it out and I don't think it really works on me. And I think I broke out a little bit and there were a lot of reviews that this did not work for them in terms of minimizing pores. So yeah, I never really purchased the bigger bottle because I think it's around 800 pesos and you get two which is a good deal but it's still a huge amount of money for a toy. I also got Mascara removers. This will come in handy whenever I'm removing my makeup and it's travel size So it's perfect for when you're traveling. The last freebies I got is this Etude House Moisture Cleansing Oil. It says here Moist and Deep Cleansing. And the other one is AC Clinic Acne Foam Cleanser. Non-comedogenic. So I can't wait to try all these samples out. So yes, that's all for my Etude House haul. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Like if you enjoyed this video. And of course, subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye! And I am... I've... I've... I, I want... So this is gonna this is gonna be my home. Yes, at Sud House. In terms of pour, in terms of pour. Hey guys, I am back for another video, and this. Hey guys, this is makeup by Carla. Hey guys, this is makeup by Carla Misa on YouTube. So, I split this up with my friend. First, the neat. The next thing that I got, like I got. <laughs> oh, shucks. Since it's buy one get one, I get to have. It's the more mat for. It's a more. It's a, so I know I. So I know I always say Etude House or Etude House, but I don't really know how it should be pronounced. But whatever. Let's. That's a tangent. Let's move on to what's. Let's move on to the haul. Oh my god, it's a